Welcome to the Mac video for creating ERS drainage logbooks. The video describes how to create a drainage logbook and components. It is the seventh in a series of videos for QC data entry about ERS plots. Navigate to the ERS project. If the ERS project does not already have a drainage logbook and you need to add one, select the update icon. An update dialog box appears. Select the Add Logbook option. Select Drainage from the Logbook Type drop-down list. Select the Save option. Drainage Logbook will be added to the ERS project. Click on the Logbooks tab to expand it. Select the drainage logbook from the display drop-down list. Let's create our first pipe run. Select the Create Pipe option. A Create Pipe dialog box appears. Select the type of pipe from the type drop-down list. If any type other than concrete pipe or box culvert is selected, you will need a physical sample of the pipe to submit to the State Materials Office. Enter the pipe length in feet in the length field. Select the pipe size in inches from the pipe size drop-down list. Select an entry from the start node drop-down list. The first pipe created will have three options, add new structure, mitered end, and other. Let's look at new structure first. Selecting Add New Structure causes a name field to appear. Enter the structure name in this field. Enter the station where the structure is located in the station field. The bottom slab thickness field defaults to 8 inches. Check the plans or shop drawings for the bottom slab thickness, and if it is not 8 inches, update this field. Enter the invert elevation from the contract plans. Enter the flow line elevation and top elevation from the contract plans. Select the end of the pipe run from the end node drop-down list. We'll add another new structure. Select the Save option. The pipe run is added to the list of plots. The structures appear under the structure subtab that was added when we created the drainage logbook. Sometimes a pipe run connects two structures who have station locations on different survey lines. For example, one structure is on the survey line of the main roadway and the other structure is on the survey line of a side street. When you create the pipe run, if you list the structure with the larger station number first, you will receive an error message that the ending node must come after the start node. If you see this error message, just switch the entry so that the structure with the lower station is listed first on the pipe run. Let's create one more pipe run with an existing structure and a mitered end section. Select the Create Pipe option. I've entered some of the initial information and I'm ready to select the Start and End nodes. Click on the Start drop-down list. 
Now we see the option to select the structures we created, since structures can have more than one pipe connected to the structure. We'll select an existing structure. Mac automatically populates the bottom slab thickness and invert elevation from when we entered the structure previously, and the flow line elevation for the structure on this pipe run. The pipe run ends with a mitered end, not another structure. So we will select mitered end from the end node drop-down list. Enter the station and flow line elevation for the mitered end section. Select the save option to save the pipe run. The pipe run is added to the drainage logbook. The pipe run being displayed is indicated by green highlight. This concludes the Mac video for creating ERS drainage logbooks. Thank you for reviewing the training. The next video will describe how to make updates and deletions in a drainage logbook. If you need assistance with Mac, contact your local district application coordinator. For assistance with ERS, contact the local district materials and research office earthwork specialist.